did you meet with anyone in preparation for today's meeting? Anyone that uh, would be uh, working for any member of parliament or, or anyone here at the House I of Commons? I am not allowed to talk to anyone because of the security investigations. Ms. Shannon, you have the floor for six minutes, please. Well, thank you very much, uh, Chair. And I want to thank uh, Ms. Daly for making uh, herself available to answer questions here today. Uh, Ms. Daly, you'll have to forgive me um, uh, your... your um, uh, opening remarks um, uh, being very detailed. Um, uh, I'm not sure that I caught all of it, and I do hope that we will have the benefit of, of a printout of, of your remarks. And just in case, uh, Chair, that not all of uh, not all of it was captured uh, in the translation uh, either. Um, Ms. Daly, uh, we have never met. Is that correct? No. Um, have you uh, appeared uh, before committee? I've never appeared before any committee. Okay. Have you met uh, any members of parliament on this uh, topic? No. Okay. Um, I did read some testimony uh, from uh, OGO uh, from one of the uh, meetings in 2023 where your name was mentioned. Maybe it was the first time. I'm not sure if it was. It's been Ms. Uh, Ratika Dutt. On October 26th at OGO. Okay. Uh, can I ask you uh, what your relationship was with, with um, those two people? With Ratika Dutt? W with, uh, yes, yes. There was no relationship. Oh. Sorry, I do have to take water because of my medical uh -huh. condition. Okay, well, I appreciate that. I want to be clear. They were names on a resume that was forwarded to one of the project managers. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. And that project manager um, at CBSA did the evaluation, sent it back, and in my administrative role, I forwarded that on. Okay. So did you have any conversation with um, this person? No, I don't recall. And uh, are you familiar at all with, uh, because uh, she works for Bottler, or she has a company called Bottler? She's a co-owner of, Bo uh, co of Bottler AI. Mm -hmm. And... What I do know is she was seeking payment for some of her two deliverables, I think it was, is what she said. Mm -hmm. um, my senior director asked me to make sure she got paid. I made sure that she got paid. Okay, so the communication with um, the uh, partner at Bottler came through your senior director. The communication was submitted through email, mm -hmm. and like any other director, they would ask their admin staff to look into it. Okay. so That was what I did. So you never spoke to her directly? I don't believe I did. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to circle back to that. Uh, maybe we'll just start out then with, uh, could you please elaborate on your role in the procurement process uh, and what role... Um, uh, public services and procurement had um, in this process, uh, particularly uh, when it concerns, uh, uh, we're talking about the uh, work that was done through Bottler and also the work for Arrive Can. Can you elaborate okay. on your involvement? Okay, well, I was a senior advisor in the Director General's Office of IT Services at CBSA. I had seconded over at level. I had no procurement access, and that I have proof of. I have no access to procurement in any way, shape, or form. CBSA had its own procurement team. And in fact, we're recognized for putting in place a series of COVID-19 um, contracts for, I believe it was in 2021, the process was, you got requirements, we had a backlog, we'd take those requirements, we would package them up in the way that they told us, IT would give me those requirements, I would put them into a format to submit them to CBSA procurement through email, then they would generate a purchase requisition. That 
And Ms. Daly, I'm going to stop you there. You understand that sometimes we have to interrupt um, sure. to kind of get on with the questions. Did you meet with anyone in preparation for today's meeting? Anyone that uh, would be uh, working for any member of parliament or, or anyone here at the House I of Commons? I am not allowed to talk to anyone because of the security investigations that are ongoing because I spoke out and said not the negative narrative that they wanted to accuse two former bosses of false allegations. Okay. And can you just tell me, you've read the uh, Auditor General's report, uh, number one on Arrive Can? Yes. You have read that. Uh, what was your takeaway from that report? I would say that there are two things that the committee should know. In 2021, OPPO did a report on CBSA's procurement. In that report, in October 2020, the CBSA created something called the Contract Review Board to highlight a review of any and all impactful procurements. So what that should have flagged them was all of the steps necessary that the Auditor General identified, including project management, setting up more than one cost center for reporting, etc., that should have been easily done and should have followed that process because that was what the... Was the second thing? The second thing was the way that Mr. Moore in the finance group made a statement that it was IT services that actually did the procurement. That was physically impossible. Thank you. That is 